And what about Canelo and Jamal Charlie? It feels great. Uh, looks like we're making a fight in not too far the end of the year is out. Hopefully, and uh, hopefully, we can Canelo out for that. Canelo out for that. Canelo out for that. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. We have another one calling out old cinnamon for that payday, payday. You feel me? This time it's Jamal Charlo, man, which I'm so happy to hear that he could be returning, man. You know, he, he's had a big leave of absence. You know, he went on sabbatical dealing with some mental issues, man, that we hope he recovers from, you know. And, um, having his trouble in and outside of the ring of boxing, man. But we're hearing from, you know, the great fighter, former fighter, and the current great trainer, Ronnie Shields, who is currently training uh, Jamal Charles, saying, hey, man, he's back in the gym, which is good news, you know, and he's ready for a fight, and he's trying to get a fight in this year and then potentially, potentially, potentially get Canelo, you know what I'm saying? So old Canelo Alvarez, a.k.a. Cinnamon, you know, in the future, you know what I'm saying, after a tuna fight or possibly Caleb Plant. Oh, oh. Or, or Caleb Plant, or, yeah, whoever. You know, which I think would be dope, man, but in my personal opinion, you know, I think it would behoove him to not only get a tune-up, but maybe fight somebody like uh, Mungia or Caleb Plant, or or uh, Berlanga even, before he fights Canelo. I think he should go through a tough fight, or maybe even get Berlanga and, and then get Canelo, but I don't think he should get a tune-up fight and then jump into Canelo because coming off that long leave of absence, man, he gonna get bomb, 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 Canelo go put that work on him. Now, I personally believe that this is a great fight. This is the fight that we wanted, right? We didn't want Lil Charlo, Jamel Charlo against Canelo. Even though Jamel Charlo is undisputed at 154, it was just that when you're going up to fight somebody that's bigger than you and just as skilled, if not more skilled, um, than you, you're probably going to lose. And that's what Cinnamon did. You know what I'm saying? He went in there and, and dominated like uh, a, a lot of us thought he would, including myself. But I will say this, though. If Jamal Charlo isn't planning on really winning you know what I'm saying if he's going in to just going there to just mail it in like a Berlanga who celebrating a loss <laughs> you know what I'm saying all the, the celebratory activities after a loss is crazy if you're saying that you will have ambitions to be a top person in the sport and in your division and you're doing this i think it's crazy yes you should celebrate the wealth that you establish and the significance of impressing some people by by surviving and going the full 12 rounds but if you have if you have a championship mentality like andre rosier said and others then you shouldn't be celebrating a loss because no matter how much money you gain it's still a loss you know what i'm saying you should try to use it as a learning experience when canelo lost to floyd i don't think he celebrated when mcgee lost to canelo i don't think he had a parade in tijuana when uh caleb plant lost to canelo i don't think he had a a, a parade uh, uh, it was escorted by a motorcade in Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? You can celebrate and stuff like that, but there should be a cap in my personal opinion. Um, but unless Jamal Charlo was going to um, to just survive like Berlanga did or, or, or like Jamel Charlo did, like his younger brother, if he's satisfied with that kind of performance, then yeah, just take a regular tune-up and then fight Cinnamon. But if you're really going in there to win, which a lot of us think he's capable of, including myself, then I think that it would behoove him to have at least a a tough challenging fight against somebody that's uh, uh, uh in the upper echelon of the division whether it's in billy pacheco mungia kayla plan even berlanga will suffice then you know and osley iglesias some others too i'm not gonna name everybody in 168 um but if you do that first and then go fight canelo i think it'll be a little more believable but with that being said y'all know me man i got my boy cinnamon i think jamal charlo and cinnamon's always been a good fight if he could go back to his peak form but if he if, if he if he can't i still think it could be somewhat entertaining since we wanted it you know it's historical value i don't think it's decreased that much but i think that the fight that i would like to see 
immediately would be the Caleb Plant and Jamal Charlo fight. But I'm cool with the Canelo one as well. You know, we always wanted Jamal Charlo as opposed to Jamel Charlo, like I said before. And um, this is still an interesting fight. Hopefully, though, Jamal Charlo can get his uh, personal uh, uh, life and his private life in order. Like I said, he was going through some, he let us know that he was going through some uh, mental health issues. And you know what I'm saying? That's a very serious, serious thing, you know? So that's why he's been gone. That's why he had a hiatus for so long. So hopefully he returns back to form and he gets a tune-up. But that's good that we got to hear from, like I said, the uh, former fighter and great trainer, Ronnie Shield. Give us an update on where Jamal Charlo's at. And hopefully, we do get to see him back this month, maybe in December. You know what I'm saying? Maybe PBC is going to put on a big card, including Charlo, Tank, and Benavidez. Who would have loved that? But you know what I'm saying? You get to see Tank, Big Charlo, and the monster. You know what I'm saying? El Monstro. That'd be fire, man. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you think that he should get a tune up and then jump right into a cinnamon fight? Or should he get a tune up, another tough fight with a top uh, player in the at 168? Or should he just, you know, not fight cinnamon right now at all or do what i do what i encourage you know what i'm saying fight a tough fight like i guess a, a contender and then go for cinnamon i think that'll give him his, uh, a better chances you know but I, like i said all in all i still think that cinnamon wins i always thought cinnamon would win that fight but i think it could be more entertaining if he follows the proper steps you know what i'm saying it progresses it progresses appropriately for having a long hiatus in the sport or sabbatical you know what i'm saying so i appreciate y'all rocking me as always man remember with god we do anything without god we're nothing and the doctor's out Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.